So uh, hello my friends, so this is the fridge, this is the freezer, it's a bit broken by the way because at the university they didn't change it. Uh, let me uh, just show you here. I picked up this, I picked up the leaves from the tree here. These are all Jinko, Jinko leaves, you know. They are now frozen, so they can use them all the year long. That's what you can do whenever you have, if you leave, you have, uh, you have fruits, you have, you can keep them, you can keep them and freeze them. Uh, of course, uh, I will take a few of them, then wash them, and then I will use them and take, um, and use them and boil them into hot water. And this is very healthy, this is very good for my health. Hello everyone, I hope that you are doing well. So I am just in front of my teaching building and here in this university last year uh, they start planting all these trees. <laughs> the funny thing is uh, I'm going to tell you about these trees. I think maybe some of you know what is this. This is called the Jinko trees. You see Jinko? This is Jinko trees, okay? So the Jinko tree, uh, the right here, Jinko. The Jinko tree is uh, the tree of wonder. The tree of wonder. It's the oldest tree uh, in this. Uh, th th that is on the hearse. I think um, I I'm not sure because I checked over the internet the other day. I think it's 350 million years old. 350 million years old. This, they already had this tree, uh, and this kind of tree that they plant can live 1,000 years. The thing that uh, I do, I usually do it in the evening. I don't dare to do it too much. I mean, I know it's stupid, you see, but being a foreigner in China, uh, if you do some something that's a bit crazy, then people are going to all stare at you and say, oh, look at the foreigner, what is he doing? Oh, oh, look at the foreigner, you know, and some of them will stop and stare at you, and which is, okay, you, you get accustomed to it, okay, oh, you've never seen a foreigner, oh, okay, oh, there's a foreigner running, oh, let's stare at him, oh, there's a foreigner who pick up the leaves of the tree, let's stare at him. But the thing is, most people have no clue, and this is the tree of China, and Chinese people have no clue, no clue about this. So these leaves, all you have to do is pick them up, see, like this, I take the leaves, they are a little bit old, huh? I should have taken them before. I put them inside my bag, then when I'm back home I will freeze them. Every day I just take a few leaves and then I put them inside my water and I boil the water and then I will get all the health benefits of this Jinko. Um, so the health benefits, you can check over the internet, there are so many health benefits. Uh, if you drink this every day, maybe for four months, uh, it will be good for your heart, it will be good for your blood pressure, it will be good if you are stressed out, it will be good, um, it will be good, uh, what else, for Eisenmayer, Eisenmayer, you know, people who have Eisenmayer, it will be good to, if you have diabetes, it's going to be good uh, if you have vitiligo, there are so many health benefits for this, huh? and you know, it's all free, huh? you just need to pick it up, like I'm doing here, you put it here, I wash them, of course, you know, and you should be wary, uh, but that's not at this time of the year, they have the fruit, and the fruit, the grains, the grains you should not eat them because the grain is, is not, not good for you. Huh? Uh, so that's what I do, I huh? just pick the leaves, and I picked quite, quite many, and in fact, uh, when I will be back to France, I will of course plant a tree like this in my garden. My friend, who is... Uh, who is in uh, France and who is watching the videos, you know, so uh, I met him, uh, he, uh, he's watching all the time, uh, you know, I, I met him this summer and this guy is really someone, uh, I'm really impressed by him, uh, yeah, he's really, uh, I really have a lot of respect for him, a lot of respect for him, because he's very hard working, always pushing himself, he's, the life was very hard to him and this guy, he planted um, his garden, unfortunately, is a little bit too small, but he planted Jinko trees, he planted many plants, and I think you need the knowledge, you need the knowledge like this. Okay, the funny part, huh, that's, that's something that I want, this is all about propaganda, as, as always, but that's good, okay? So, um, I think Xi Jinping is just was saying, oh, we need a green China, we need to protect the environment, and then some of someone who is next to himself, 
why we don't plant ginkgo trees? So they start planting these ginkgo trees. And then the university, we have to plant ginkgo trees. So they planted so many ginkgo trees here. And I think it's the same all over China. In all the universities, they started planting the ginkgo trees. And even in the city where we are now, uh, they usually always had the same trees. And that's something that for years I was wondering, why do they always plant the same trees? They could plant some fruit trees, they could do something else. And now all of a sudden they start planting these ginkgo trees. Uh, the funny part is, of course, these trees are quite expensive. So they cannot plant these trees everywhere. So they plant these trees only in the wealthy district. Uh, so if you see, you are on the street in China and you see the ginkgo trees, you know this place uh, is a place where there is something special. This place is a place where there is something special. So for instance, uh, the school of my kid. The school of my kid is a, is, a, is a school where all the officials send their kids. So it's the school where you have all the... the it's a kindergarten for the, for the kids of the, the officials, okay? And on the street uh, that's just in front of the school, they planted maybe 20 ginkgo trees on both sides and that's and why did they plant the trees there because this place is a special area right in front of the administration in front of the famous school they were planting this but it's a good thing it's a good thing so again uh, sorry i am holding the camera on one hand it's not easy again uh, if you are uh, in, in even in the u.s you should take this take it check over the internet and take it you will see you will see it's uh, very good for your health so a good tip for you and if you are in China of course this is the country of ginkgo tree so take it ginkgo is the same as uh, the panda is <laughs> the ginkgo and the panda this is the the symbol the symbol of China so that's why they, they planted this everywhere bon à bientôt les amis à bientôt take care so here i am with the leaves i take the leaves well, this one is a little bit old because i didn't pick them when they were green enough now it's the end of the season Okay, I put them in my mug, I have here hot water, and let's pour some hot water inside. And that's it, all you have to do is wait. You can even put it, uh, okay, I put it this way. And you do this every day for several months and you have all the health benefits, you have all the health benefits.